Hi, Capricorn, Kings, Queens, and everything in between. I am Austria, the Unbothered Queen. Today, I am channeling the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Venus to deliver a love message. For those of you that are in separ separation, can't speak today, or no contact. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Venus. So only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Energy is fluid, so this message could be past, present, or future, making it timeless. Also, this message could be from the perspective of the cross watcher, so place yourself accordingly, either here or there. And I do not um, read, um, this isn't a gender specific reading, so know that um, no matter what the card says, feminine or uh, masculine, you can swap those out um, however they fit in your story. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into your energy, Capricorn. So, please give me messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Venus. Please give me messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Venus. Please so, give me messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Venus. All right. Thank you. We have Let Your Friends Help You. Ask for and accept support from others here. Then we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And then we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So I feel like for a lot of you, you guys are going through a situation where you're receiving information either intuitively or from um, friends and family about this particular connection. Um, you're trying to stay optimistic about it, obviously, because, you know, this is a no contact or separation reading. So because you and this person aren't um, together right now. But I really feel like you're you're definitely taking this harder, or they are, in reference to this connection. Okay. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the energy of calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visual, uh, visualizations. I promise I can read in real life. Help bring you together. Yeah, you're definitely thinking about this person a lot. I do not like how that came out. Um, Spirit, please give me Capricorn's person, Sun Moon or Venus. Please give me Capricorn's person, Sun Moon or Venus. Spirit. I feel like you guys are definitely not talking. There's definitely no contact. Okay, it says very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Then it has religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. For some of you, the person that you're dealing with is into um, the metaphysical um, uh, of the um, spiritual path. For others, it's more like a, um, for majority of the others, it's like more of like a Catholicism, Christianity type thing. But it seems like this person is kind of, coming to your side of spirituality or whatever you're practicing. And we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture at the bottom of the deck. So I definitely think that this person um, definitely thinks about you as well. They definitely feel like this is a strong connection or a strong union. It 
There's something about this very soon that kind of like rubs me the wrong way though. For a small few of you, whatever um, transpired here, this person is trying to get back at you and you're going to see something um, that they did or um, are doing to get back back at you and maybe like um, dealing with somebody else or somebody that you know or something like that is it's real petty. How does Capricorn view this connection spirit? How does Capricorn Sun Moon and Venus view this connection spirit? Page of Swords, Development of Information and Contracts, we have the Empress card, and that is that Libra, Libra and Taurus energy there. For some of you, I feel like you guys um, are constantly um, going over their messages that they send you, like text messages or something like that. Um, future plans, garden, which is the three of wands in the reverse here. I feel like a lot of you feel like your future plans were um, taken away from you. Like you had plans that you wanted to, to accomplish, but you can't because something happened that took those plans away. And I think that it involves um, your person. Like the plans that were taken away involves your person. We have the emperor at the back of the deck, definitely a match there. So if it's, you know, not a soulmate connection, even though we have that card already there, it is the, um, it is the, um, it is a twin flame. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> you want to move forward and, you know, be decisive in regards to how you feel about this particular union. It's like. Um, you, you want to, you want to just kind of like run in and say like, you're mine, you know, but, but you don't have the ability to do that. And it definitely makes you feel some type of way because you, you feel like whatever changed this union changed this path, this path right here being able to rush in and take this person as yours and all of that, those those are the plans that you had. You had all the intention of trying to develop something here and then something um, abruptly changed it. Spirit, please give me some messages to let me know how Capricorn person views this situation. How does Capricorn person Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> How does Capricorn? It's the devil upright. And that's definitely a card. Um, the devil. And then we have the Eight of Wands there. I definitely feel for a lot of you, especially, um, <laughs> this was a very sexual and um, passionate relationship that you had here. Um, and this person kind of, I'm, I'm hearing they view like conversations or whatever, um, always turning into like sex or something. What mess 
because there is you have um, okay okay yeah so they definitely view this as a sexual um, relationship with this um, princess of wands here and I feel like that's kind of how you guys communicate is what I'm hearing. Yeah, Princess of Swords here. Yeah, and, and definitely um, they view this uh, relationship kind of like a immature. And I would say, you know, not at times or whatever like that, but definitely um, immature. Also, I feel like for a lot of you, and this could be vice versa, um, either they're watching you or you're watching them. Yeah. They feel like they offered you um, an opportunity to have emotional fulfillment. And I definitely see 1111 as I look up on my screen. So um, for those that are into angel numbers, you know, it's like they're manifesting you or you're manifesting them. I'm definitely saying that, you know, they kind of, um, how do you say? They feel like they gave you the opportunity to get this type of love, but you refused it. You didn't, you didn't want, you didn't want their cup of love. And then we have the death card, the magician, and the hanged woman at the bottom of the deck. So that's Pisces energy um, with the hanged woman. We have the magician, Aries, um, Virgo, Gemini, and then Scorpio with the death card here. So they definitely want to, like I said, <laughs> with the 11, 11, they're manifesting you or you're manifesting them. They don't want to accept um, this ending and they, they want to, you know, um, resuscitated is what I'm hearing. They want to bring this union back together. Okay, so what I'm hearing is they want to manifest and create these future plans. That, that's why the cards decided they were gonna jump out supposedly. <laughs> and I'm hearing, no, specifically. Okay. Um, What, oh, so we're not going to take that card, even though it was the higher font. How does um, Capricorn, what vibe do they give to their person? What vibe is Capricorn? Oh, two cards. What, what vibe is Capricorn, Sun, and Venus giving to their person? What vibe is Capricorn, Sun, and Venus giving to their person? With this page of wands and Princess of Swords, you could be dealing with the air sign or a fire sign or another Capricorn, possibly. We also have that Taurus and Lib Lib uh, Libra energy over here. I had to get this card from far away. <laughs> so we have. Um, Darkest, <laughs> darkest before dawn way. That's the Ten of Swords. Then we have the um, Ace of Wands in the reverse. And then we have uh, Queen of Cups, supporter of compassion and intuitive feelings. So, for a lot of you, I think that the vibe that you're giving them is that um, you've moved on from this situation, um, that you no longer um, want to um, spark anything with them, not even sex, which I'm hearing that is definitely not true. Um, for a lot of you, I'm getting a sense that you are I'm hearing family man or something, or family woman. Like, you are into your feelings now. Like, whatever, um, 
Mm. Yeah, it's like a nurturing type of feeling. Like I'm, I'm hearing like fatherhood, motherhood. Yeah. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles here. Definitely giving that energy of um, wanting to give a certain type of illusion here. I'm definitely getting the sense that, you know, you definitely want to um, kind of give off a, a, a persona of stability. Um, yeah, like like you're moving forward like yeah like you're happy you know like your whole situation has changed with that tower card again um the chair in the sun like you you want them to feel like no i'm okay i'm okay and i'm also getting a sense that this person is always putting um like a lot of effort into it meaning if it's emotional or what have you it's definitely a lot of effort that they um that they are putting into it Okay. What vibe is okay? What vibe is Capricorn's person giving towards them? Okay. What vibe is Capricorn's person giving towards them? Capricorn's person giving. Okay. Alrighty. Now, <laughs> all right. That was last before last okay so we have the knight of cups so they're giving you an energy in which they are happy you know um and they're you know for a lot of you they're the ice queen they're not talking they have nothing to say to you um you know they're over it um but for um others it's like a sense of they're going through a depression or something is what I'm what I'm sensing. Definitely it it's also with this um this is a Libra's card here too with the Queen of Swords. They're definitely giving you like wish for you know, with this nine of cups, they're definitely giving you wish fulfillment energy. Like um, they don't they don't need you, they don't need they, like, I'm hearing, like, I can do bad all by myself type of energy. Then we have the Empress card. We have two Empress cards out of two different decks now. So, could be dealing with a mother of your child or the situation could involve a mother of your child or something like that. But they're definitely giving you, um, I'm, I'm taking care of myself um, vibes here. I'm hearing like lap of luxury type of thing. Um, again, this is Taurus um, Libra, share this card. Ace of Wands, yeah, they're out here. They have so many plans, so many things to do. They're booked and busy. That's the energy I'm getting here. And then we have the five of wands in the upright. So, yeah, it's like a, it's like a confused type of energy um, that they're giving you because it's like, even though you guys aren't talking, it's like, and it's, it's almost like either fighting for you or... Fighting to change their image of you is what I'm, I mean, image of them. Yeah. But they are slowly but surely, you know, it's like, again, a lot of immaturity here. You know, and it's because they're heartbroken by the situation and it's taken them a lot to um, move past it and get over it. And it's, it's taken them a long time too because they feel like the lovers here, again, Gemini energy, 
that um, one that they they did make the right decision in dealing with you in the first place. Um, also, they feel like you are a divine partnership. Then we have the Five of Swords and the Fool here. So it's like they really want a new beginning to um, to kind of like uh, to win you over is what I'm hearing. They, they want a new beginning to win you over. They want this all to be, you know, for something. And this is Aquarius and Aries energy here. Definitely a lot of air. Definitely probably dealing with an air sign. What action will, will Capricorn take towards that person? Capricorn is funny. What action will take towards that person? What action will Capricorn okay. oh. What action will Capricorn funny take towards that person? What action? I'm hearing like a jerky one. <laughs> it was like, so basically, you're gonna be a dick. You're you're definitely gonna be a dick. And granted, this could not be you. You could be on the other side. But thank you. You're definitely going to be a dick about it. Then we have the judgment card here. That's some Scorpio energy. Yeah, see, I think that, you know, it's almost a sense of you coming, like, it's almost like a sense of you saying, like, no, I'm no longer stable, right? For some of you. Saying, like, no, I'm no longer stable because something came out. Um, some like something was revealed, so now we could be happy. Now I can move towards you. Who wants to be runner up? The fuck. But for others, it's like you're gonna be a jerk. Like I made the decision that I was gonna make because I, you know, wanted to make it, and now I'm okay with that. You know, and you're gonna act like you're not in a stable union, but you're going to be. And you're going to basically um, do some more back and forth with this situation. And this is Cancer Energy, the chariot here. You're going to act like, oh, well, no. Um, yeah, things don't work out. But um, y'all still live together or something like that. Yeah, and see, the reason that you're doing this is because you really want to be with this person. With the Ace of Pentacles here, the Ten of um, the Ten of Cups, and the Three of Cups, you want to fix this situation, but you don't have the ability to be um, like honest and forthcoming. You're going to be real egotistical about it. And then look, your card again, Capricorn. You know, you're 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 definitely going to be real egotistical about it and I really think it has something to do with how you view love or depending on what side you're on because I think that it's a lot of like um not like alternative um motives but it's like you want to like okay the sexual connection that you had with this person or vice versa it wasn't like anyone else or something like that and then how this person, that kind of opens you up to feel like how this person thinks, how this person, um, um, getting close to them and, and understanding them a little bit better helps you really realize like you were supposed to be with this person or this person was your soulmate. What action is Capricorn's person taking to against you? What action is Capricorn's person taking to against you? So we have the seven of cups. Okay. So 
I'm definitely getting this sense that, you know, for... A lot of them, they're acting like, okay, so now that you want me, I definitely do have choices. I don't have to deal with this um, BS that you're trying to bring towards me. You know what I mean? Like, wh whatever. Um, I understand what it is now, and I'm going to save my cup. Like, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to offer. Like, you see how she's holding her chest? Like, how dare you ask me for my cup? Like, excuse me? Seriously? Okay. Like, a lot of them are going to be like, no, see, you fuck with the right one on the wrong day. I'm no longer going to let you continuously play with my heart. Like, that's what I'm hearing. No to that. That's, that's like, that's dead. You know what I mean? And I think... Um, A lot of them are taking the time to heal themselves, which is in turn making them uh, better suited. But I think that this may also be the reason which you're coming in because it's like when this person doesn't want you, you want this person. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Yes, yeah, see, the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. It's like um, they have victory because now they are clear. You, you see what I mean? It's like they're, they are so focused on um, moving forward. They're, they're chasing um, something completely different from what you have to offer them now. Yeah, it's, look, they have no plans to move forward with you for some of them. Some of them are definitely um, just kind of working on themselves, saying that, no, you're not going to get my cup. But others, it's like whatever you did made them a beast. And they're like, okay. <laughs> okay, so, all right. All right, so it's okay. You know, you fuck with a real one. And... <laughs> now it's time <laughs> it's time to put this plan into action what messages do you have i'm sorry what messages okay but not like that one Let's see if it wants to come out again what messages do you have for capricorn sun moon and venus what messages do you have for Cap capricorn sun moon and venus spirit what messages do you have for capricorn sun moon and venus what message oh see now Okay, so we could take these three spirit. Okay, so I'm here and take them all. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them all. All right, so this one was first. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So I think that's really for your person because once they really like release you and glow the fuck up, then you come running back or vice versa. Time, you're trying too hard, give it time. Yeah, I think this is definitely a cross watcher's message because again, I feel like that is for them. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. That could be for both of you or you specifically because I don't think that you... I, I don't even, I think that you know that there's something different about this person. And even though I think that you may be spiritually inclined, I don't think that you have accepted that this is a um, sacred union. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So yeah, I really think that for some of you, something, whatever's keeping you away from them, is not necessarily something that you are um, um, not necessarily something you want to do. It's kind of something for a lot of you. I'm feeling like um, you feel like you're forced to do or feel like you should do in a sense like um, um, I, I can't even think of, 
thinking of this example. Okay, like if you hit somebody's car, you know, you don't have to leave a note if it's parked, but you should. You know what I mean? And I, I, I really think like that's a kind of a sense, but possibly like dealing with a relationship or dealing with like um, family members or something like that. Like you're dealing with something that's keeping you away from them because you feel like you're obligated to do so. Then we have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, it's something that happened um, that I feel like is making you so short with them or making you so closed off with them. Like I feel like you started this and you were really loving, really giving, and at some point that changed. I feel like once you realized that it was a possibility that they were your soulmate or you felt a different connection to them and it scared you. Then we have playfulness. Um, it says last laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So yeah, I think we're talking about sex here. Um, just in case anyone was wondering, I really think that that's what that is. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Capricorn. Um, definitely, you know, take a little bit of time to reflect, meditate, um, do some guided meditation if possible. I definitely appreciate you stopping by to see me today. And if you would like a personal reading, the information is in this, the description box. Also, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And definitely comment down below um, if this, you know, resonated with you because... Also, if um, you're dealing with the Libra, check out their message because it was something, it was like a little bit like this. But either way, um, thank you guys. Bye.